Hello, my name is Jeremy, and within these videos that I'll be making here, um, I'm going to be covering topics such as uh, PHP, MySQL, dabble into some JavaScript, jQuery, HTML5, CSS3, and I won't be really talking too much about XHTML or HTML. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that you guys are familiar with those topics, but I, will, but I will be using it. If anybody has questions about that kind of stuff, I'll be happy to um, answer them. Now, before I actually get started, um, I've been in doing web development professionally for going on uh, be four years now. And um, I just want to kind of share things that I've learned along the way. Just kind of help out everyone else out there, you know, kind of get started or venture into some of these things. So, what I'm going to be talking about today is um, the WAMP server. And what WAMP stands for is Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So what is a WAMP server? Well, basically what a WAMP server is, is a, a web development platform where you can create web applications, you know, with uh, Apache or PHP, uh, and also uh, the, the use of... Um, MySQL database. So let's go ahead and let's go to their website. So we're going, we're going to go to our browser of choice and type in WAMP. It should be the first thing that pops up. And like I said, that um, it's a de development platform. And about halfway down the page, I would say, has the download links. You have the 32-bit and 64-bit version. I, well, I have a 64-bit machine, so that's what I'll be using. You can fill out this uh, form itself, but you really don't have to. Right here, you can download it directly. I'm not going to. I already did. Just save a little bit of time. So I'm going to double-click our WAMP. Click Run. And then, of course, click Yes. Then here, just like anything, you have to install for Microsoft. There's a bunch of Next. I agree. The Next. Next. Great. Create a quick launch icon. And install. So this this process takes roughly about eh, let's say 30 seconds to maybe a minute, minute and a half or so to actually install everything. And when it gets done, it's going to ask. It's going to automatically pop up and want to use Internet Explorer. I'm not going to. I'm going to use uh, Chrome itself. So I'm going to navigate to my C drive, users, username. App data, local, then to Google, Chrome, applications, and here's Chrome finally. Hit open. Would you like to install a new WAM page? Um, yes. Go ahead. I already installed it once. I uninstalled it, but because I didn't remove everything. Now here it asked me if I want to set up a mail server. I'm, I don't have one, but we'll just keep it as that. Make sure that launch WAM servers checked. Hit finish. Yes. Down here you'll notice that it went from red to orange to green rather quickly. And basically red means it's offline, orange means it's starting to connect, and the green means it's actually connected. So let's go back to Chrome. And we'll type in, or I'm going to type in 12.0.0.0.1. Um, you can also type in localhost. I'm not using localhost because it's being used by another uh, program. Or right here, if everything uh, has installed correctly, sorry, uh, you'll be brought up to the WAMP server homepage itself. Okay, it shows me what Apache version I'm using, the PHP version I'm using, some extra um, loaded extension as well, the PHP info, and um, the my or PHP my admin, which is one of the easiest ways to get to your um, databases. So up here you have different. Uh, tools, excuse me, we have a toolbar up here with different menus. We have a database and SQL query. Within database here, we can create a new database. Within within that, we can create a table or a few tables. Then with here, we can query those tables itself, but we'll save that for a later video. So <clears throat> what we're going to do now is I'm going to open up my editor of choice, which is Notepad++. And... And I'm going to further verify that it is up and running. 
So to get started with a little bit of PHP, you're going to use a less than symbol and a greater than symbol. Within these two bright or these these two, we're going to put in two question marks. And within those, we're going to type in PHP. Where the cursor is here, I'm going to hit enter twice. You go up one line, then press tab. Now it's going to print something to the screen. I'm going to use echo and two uh, double quotes and semicolon to finish out the statement. Within the two uh, double quotes, this is where you're going to print to the screen. So we're going to do the hello world like you do in every programming language. Click file, save as, and navigate to the WAMP directory, which is under C, WAMP, a www folder, I'm going to delete this for now, and then I'm going to say new. Two, I guess. And then within here, I'm going to save this as first.php. So save. As you can see, Notepad++ does some add some color, so it's just a little easier to read. I'm going to shrink this down. Go here. I'm going to add a slash the folder that I made slash first.php. And here we're presented with hello world that we echoed to the screen. So hopefully this gets you started at uh, least setting up the WAMP server and running your first PHP script itself. Um, if you like it, like the video, come subscribe. I'll be having more coming out as well. Any comments, go ahead and leave them. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Bye.